Hi everyone, uh, my name is David and I'm an actuary and a Python enthusiast. Um, the reason I love Python is that it's simple enough for beginners to pick it up, but also powerful enough to do complicated tests. Um, I created this channel um, to share some of the codes that I've been using on a daily to day basis. Um, so I hope you guys find this helpful and I guess we can get it started. Um, so today I want to talk about um, how you can use um, Python package call Selenium in order to do web scraping on the web. So web scraping is basically you're trying to grab data or download files from the web directly. And you can easily do that through um, Python and using Selenium. So uh, the first step is basically you go to the terminal window, the terminal type pip3 install Selenium. And I already installed it on my computer. So um, after you guys download Selenium, uh, make sure to go to Chrome driver and then you check check your version. And here the way to do that in Chrome is to do to help and about Google Chrome and check your version there. So download it, unzip it, and make sure you unzip it and move the Chrome driver into where the where the Python file is saved at. So it doesn't really matter where you saved the file, but in my case, I saved it with the Python file, so it's easy to locate. But you can actually like change the executable path um, in order to look up the correct path for the Chrome driver. So, so for getting it started. So I'm going to import from Selenium, import web driver, and import OS import time driver so I'm setting a driver variable equal to web driver in Chrome and remember where I saved the file so I see since I saved the correct directory directory where the Python file is saved at so I'm going to set a path equal to OS get current directory and join it with the Chrome driver. Executable path equals Chrome driver path. Driver get. So this is where I want to grab the website. So I'm going to go to Google Chrome and I'll go to COVID. So this is the website where I want to grab the data from. So I'm going to copy that. So this has all the website, all the numbers from different countries uh, as of today. Um, so as you can see in the US, there's 85,000 cases. So copy that in. And then go to hit close. So I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is cl right click that, go to inspect, and then it's gonna H open up the HTML code, and then double click the inspect again. It's gonna highlight that. So copy that, right click, copy, and what I'm gonna do is copy as X path. Second, find by XPath, and then I'm gonna copy that in. So as you can see, I did it by ID, then wrap. So ID is basically an attribute, and then where the ID equals to main counter wrap, and then it's gonna go down into a div and span. And then I'm gonna look at text in order to grab the correct, in order to grab the numbers. I'm going to put time to wait a little bit just in case the driver to load up. So, then I'm going to print total cases equals to format brackets and total cases. So, let's see if it runs.
but uh, so I was just checking. So I'm gonna run it. Python three Selenium py. Yeah, so I actually made an error here. So please note that I made a backslash instead of forward slash. So I'm gonna fix that. So I'm gonna fix that for uh, right now. So I have to fix that and run it again. And what it's gonna do is gonna open up Google Chrome driver and then it's gonna go to the website and then it's gonna look for that XPath. And then it's gonna grab the text of it. So which is 532.224. So it closes out. And then if you go back to the Python code, as you can see, total cases 532,000. So in this time, I'm going to look up the country Pacific. So in this case, I want to look up South Korea. So I'm going to set South country equals to South Korea. And then driver, find, by link text. I'm going to go back to the website, just double check. The spelling. So what it's gonna do is basically it's gonna look up the so name is gonna look up South Korea in here and then it's gonna grab that um, Pacific element. Right click, copy as XPath. So you can definitely do it by like link text or other IDs, CSS, but I feel like X finding by XPath is like the most simplest. So, and I think it's very easy to use. So, in here, what I need to do is I'm going to put a variable called selection and I'm going to assign to that and I'm going to do from selenium I'm going to import keys so selenium with driver go to common and let's see yeah, keys import keys And I'm going to do selection, send keys, and I'm going to do keys dot enter. And then I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, and then I'm going to change the print. To look up so it shows South Korea so let's try running that it's gonna open Chrome driver and let's see So yeah, Python successfully looked up number of cases in South Korea, 9,332. So in the next example, I'm going to show you guys how to run the Chrome driver in headless mode. Selenium, what I'm going to do is selenium webdriver.com Chrome, and then I'm going to do import options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go headless. So what the headless means is that I'm going to, I'm not going to open up, physically open up Chrome driver. It's going to run in the background. And then options equals options, bracket, close bracket, options headless equals true. So and then make sure that you include options as options. So lowercase options equals options. And then I'm gonna run that again. So notice that the Chrome driver didn't open up this time. 
but it's basically running in the background. Give it a one second. So there you go. Um, it shows 9,332. That's what we uh, expected. And then I'm going to go into what I'm going to show you guys is basically uh, we're going to tell the driver, web driver, to wait until we find the Pacific element in here. Um, so I'm going to import from Selenium. One second. Web driver. I'm going to go to common and buy. Import buy from Selenium. Web driver. And Go to support, import, expected condition as EC from Selenium web driver support dot UI import web driver B. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the type sleep. So instead of explicitly waiting for five seconds, what the web driver is gonna do is gonna wait until we find a specific element. In this case, is we're gonna do it by XPath. Web driver wait. Driver wait. Oh, uh, say thirty seconds until expect condition presence of the element located. By bracket xpath, and then I'm gonna copy the xpath in from below. One second. Oh, I forgot to, uh, to make it a string. Another quotation. Okay, I think that's good. So let's try running that. And hopefully, it will show 9,332 cases again. Yeah, so right, it seems like it worked. So that's all I wanted to cover today. Don't think of web scraping as, as something hard to do. It's actually pretty easy to do it using Python and using Selenium. And I think it's also very feasible for beginners to pick it up as well. And yeah, so thanks for watching this and I'll be back in the next one. Thanks.